Hi guys, for this video, we are going to discuss the use of scanf functions. So, a scanf function is used to accept value from the user. So, these values will be stored on a, on a variable. So, to use the scanf function, we simply use this syntax. Scanf, open and close parentheses, inside the parentheses. You have your format specifier which specifies what type of value are you going to enter. So if you're going to enter an integer, use percent %t. If you're going to use a float or double, you can use percent %f. Or for character, you use percent %c. So that's the format specifier that you're going to write inside your double code. So after that, you the double code the comma follows and then an ampersand sign uh, and then the variable name where the variable that you are going to store the value that you are going to accept so for this this would for this example you will have as a character which will be stored to this variable name so you can also use scanf uh, as many as you want in your program so if you have main more than one input that is, that is required then you will be able to use scanf uh, more than one also so let's get started in using our scanf function so let us take this example I have here created a variable named age of data type integer and weight of data type float so basically whenever i use a scanf uh, i always make sure to, to tell the user on what to do so this one indicates uh, an instruction on what the computer would be accepting or waiting for so in this case i instructed to my users to enter their age with the scanf that value will be stored on variable age I also instructed the user to enter also their program, their weight, and then uh, scanf. So this one should be scanf. Or in that scanf, uh, accepts value which is a float data type, and store that value into weight. And then afterwards, after accepting the age and the weight, I have printed the value for the age and the value for the weight so if you take a look at the format specifier the placeholders on your printf do you notice that i have here 0 0.2 as my format for when i display my weight i mean weight but in the scanf you do not need a format for that one you just simply use percent f so let's run the program So here, I prompted the user to enter a value of, your, of their age. So without the printf earlier, so it would just be a blank uh, screen and the user would, would not be able to do, know what to do. So in this case, I have entered my age. And then I also prompted the user to enter their weight. And then afterward, it displays your age and displays also the weight. So it's very important to make sure that the format specifier in your scanf would have the same data type of the variable that you are going to use. You can also use scanf by accepting. Uh, more than one input so with one scanf you can actually accept values uh, of different data type so here's an example so in statement number 11 or i mean line 11 you will you now have a scanf with two format specifiers uh, in the double code inside the double code so this would mean that the first format specifier will be stored on the first variable that will appear right after the comma and then 
the next variable I mean value will now be stored on the second variable so since age is percent D in integers we have used percent D and uh, for the weight is it's a float so I've used percent F so always be careful with using these statements because the format specifiers should be of the same data type with the order in your variables here so if you have more than two variables or one variables you just simply write a comma and then add the new variable that will that we are going to use so then of course the number of variables here will also should also correspond to the number of format specifier in your double code so in this case i only have two so you will have these variables only so the first value that will be entered will be of will be stored on age and the second will be stored on weight so let us run the program to see what will happen so here you are instructed to enter your age and the weight so you may enter the value here to say um, let's use another number so 20 and then a space to indicate that the next value would be stored on variable weight so once you have uh, press and once you press enter 20 will now be stored to age and 300.293 will now be stored to weight so 20 stored to age weight stored to uh, 300 will store to weight so i hope you were able to understand the use of scanf so whenever you use scanf it, I would advise that you're going to use scanf one at a time. So one scanf for one variable. If it is needed that the scanf should accept uh, more than one variable at the same time, then you may do so. So thank you for watching this video and please hit subscribe and also the like button.